Hi everyone, welcome to the first Pilsen Garden Video Diary. My name's Jim, I am a community member here at the Pilsen Community. And this first video is a walk through our kitchen garden. Hoping to put these out about once a week so we can see the change of, uh, of the seasons and what's going on. And here yeah, we can talk about what's been going on and what's going to happen. So, let's have a walk through our big beds first of all. This is our brassica bed. We've got green and scarlet kales, we've got cabbage, we've got sprouts that we planted out this week. Lots more to come at the greenhouse and sowing direct. This is our squash and courgette bed. We've got lots to put in this week. So we'll see the difference there next week. This is our potato bed right here. We've earthed up our first earlies, got our second earlies there. And we've got our salads as well. So lots more earthing up to do. This is our roots bed. We've got carrots, parsnips, beetroots interplanted with shallots, garlic, and onion seeds and sets. Over here, we've got our peas and beans, we've got broad beans, different types of peas in there. You can see our bean canes with our climbers going on. More to be constructed this week as well. And down here in our little raised bed cold frames, we've got loads of different types of lettuce, spinach, radish. Uh, it's all going on there. Salad onions. In our little greenhouse, we've got loads of chilies and peppers, and we're also growing our own stevia as well as a natural sweetener. Right, let's take a walk down the herb garden. These roses smell absolutely beautiful. So, as we come through, everything's just lush and green. Great uses for the kitchens. Next to those, of course, we've got our espalier trees right across the board. And all the apple trees has been an amazing show of flowers this year with a promise of a bumper crop of fruit. So that's something that uh, we can go through at a later date, thinning out the fruit, harvesting, etc. So let's have a walk down here. This bed's going to be planted out with a lot more salad leaves. And into the larger greenhouse where a lot of the sowing has been done. So we've got a lot more brassicas there, huge amount of salad to be planted out. Sweet corn is taking off, needs to be put out this week. We've gone big on the tomatoes, smells pretty amazing in here. All the herbs, coriander, edible flowers, ornamentals, more squash, of course. We've got some giant Atlantic pumpkins as well, which would be fun to see what happens with those. Here we've been rescuing uh, trees that have been coming out whilst we've been working over the veg patches. So we've got a mix of oaks and ashes and field maples and all sorts. Potting bench, stuff taking off there, lots of cauliflower. Let's have a walk down to the polytunnel and greenhouse. This is our big muck pile which has gone down quite a bit. I think we're going to use the space there to plant out lots more squashes which will trail nicely. So we've got our overwintered beans. Need a bit of steak in there but they're coming on really well. Using those a lot in the kitchen. More seeds going on there. And then into the glass house. So loads of tomatoes have been planted out here. In the middle we've got loads of kale which has gone over. We were thinking about taking it out but the bees are absolutely loving it. I don't know if you can hear them. It's getting a bit closer. So we don't really want to take them out yet. As, uh, the, pe the bees are just having a great time. We've got a grapevine that has been pruned. So lots of fruit there. We've got our overwintered cabbage, which is looking really good there. Loads more seeds to be planted out this week. And let's have a look. 
excess potatoes we're trying in bags as well fruit bushes we've got our raspberry patches got a rocket going on here it's gonna be more salad in there got our rhubarb loads of compost came out from our own bins this year so we only had to order a minimal amount for seed sowing which is great here we've got asparagus uh, going on which should be good in the next couple of years hopefully strawberries we're going to put straw down soon and net everything as well stop the birds getting them these are all personal spots for people in the community to use so we've got all sorts going on there it's ornamental flowers beans potatoes huge amount of rhubarb then just walking past our orchard which is interplanted with a load of fruit bushes as well our gooseberries are looking amazing as are the black currants just the berries more strawberries here and our plum trees looking really good had a good prune end of last summer so we're hoping for a good harvest there got our medlar back here is our comfrey bin our comfrey bed so we've been uh, last week cutting down the load chucked it into the big bucket making our own comfrey tea for feed and in here going to be planting out loads load of our tomatoes in here dahlias looking pretty good let's have a walk through to the back And in pots here, we've got hazelnuts and oaks, which have been grown from nut and seed. And then into the back, got our three compost bins going on, which go going down well, keeping them fed with all sorts, the green and the brown. And our fruit bushes, which are looking pretty good and gonna be plentiful, so. Thanks very much for watching. This is Jim. And uh, yeah, do keep an eye out for our extra videos coming out. Hopefully once a week, we'll be going through our kitchen garden and there'll be videos of our formal garden as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.